Hey there, thanks for joining me today on this episode of the Positioning to Profit podcast. This is episode 88, and I'm really glad you're here. On today's episode, I'm going to be sharing a little bit more about gaining clarity in your positioning. And as you may already know, there is a membership that I have. It's called Prolific Cafe. You can find out about uh, the membership at prolificcafe.com. It is a membership for women, and we are all moving forward, building our business, creating expansion for ourselves, and then really broadcasting the deeper purpose of why we do what we do. It is so much fun. So we really consider it this amazing maven club of shares and explorations and all kinds of things that help us again to move forward. One of the things that came up specifically this week was around clarity. And I'm going to share a little bit on that topic and really what it's costing you to not be clear. And that clarity could be costing you more than you think. So that's what I'm going to be diving into. Because as you know, we get entrepreneurial, oh my gosh, like ADHD, right? Like we get so excited about stuff and and opportunities come up, but at the same time, it may be deterring us from where our attention should be focused or could be focused. So that's the topic of the show. Now, if you haven't already heard, I am hosting a cafe call, C-A-F-E call.com, or excuse me, it's the cafe call.com. And that cafe call stands for corrective action, faster earnings. And the idea behind that is to create more income for yourself to get unstuck, to let go of the random acts of marketing. And it's a Zoom call structure, so it's a group call. You can show up and pop in and uh, really like ask away. Uh, we collaborate on kind of crowdsourcing where you're stuck. And so if that's your jam and you're looking for valuable coaching, to help you get unstuck, then I most definitely encourage you to catch the cafe call. And again, you can um, grab all the details over at thecafecall.com. And I look forward to seeing you there. The next one is going to be on March 24th, right around the corner. And again, you can find all the details for that at thecafecall.com. It would be my pleasure to host you. We're going to have a smashing good time. And I love smashing through random acts of marketing. It's just what I do. So with that, on with the show. And here we go. Hey there, I'm Patty Zamingas. You're about to discover what it means to position your brand and your business to stand out. This show explores the stories of small business owners just like you who are bringing their message out to the world and impacting their tribe. So if you want to take your business to a category of one status, then hang with me because this podcast shares everything you need to know about how to be more prolific with your brand so that you can have more profits. All right. Well, thanks for joining me on this episode. I'm so happy you're here. I'm in your ears. And me and you, we're going to have a think about what's going on with this clarity thing. All right. So I have the distinct pleasure of being the host of Prolific Cafe. Like I mentioned, it is my membership. I believe it is the best membership in the entire planet. (laughs) And I'm not even kidding because Oh, creating a community is really where it's at. And I'll have to do another show on that. But I have to tell you, it has been so massively rewarding. I regret not hosting a prolific cafe sooner. Um, It was an idea that I had and the feedback that I've gotten since the soft launch that I did last fall, and it's been growing. And what's most important to me is really curating the right type of people. The resonance has to be there. That's something I talk about in my product, in my uh, signature program called Positioning to Profit as well. But here we go. So in Prolific Cafe, what we do is get unstuck, right? In those areas of our business that are compromising the direction in which we're going. And we know that it's really an ongoing battle of clarity versus confusion, right? Where you want to test out different concepts and maybe you're an entrepreneur that has a lot of ideas. Like one of my very favorite things to do is to go for a walk out of nature and I get these downloads, just ideas that come to me. I'm like, oh, well, uh, so I could do this or I could do that or I could do here, I could do there. So what that does, it creates confusion, right? And so one of the kind of the focus areas that I've been really concentrating on this year is on keeping it simple, simplifying it. And most of the people will have heard me say, 
you got to keep it light and right. If it's not light and right, don't force it. Really play into your power. That's really intuitively where you should be headed so that being in business and finding your flow becomes fun. Well, that happens when you're clear, okay? And so one of the things that I see over and over again, because I have been personally guilty of that, is that I have been diverted in my attention. And so what starts to happen, if you pick this lane that you want to go down, so for example, for me, is positioning. Now, it wasn't always that simple for me to say, oh, I'm a positioning expert. Yes, I bring the years of know how to what I do. And I'm very confident because I know I can help people. But it wasn't always like that because I kept it broad. So I had confusion of where I could plant my flag. You know, I was kind of experimenting on where I could find the white space, what I call the white space, where you're just kind of carving out your little segment of uh, the the space here to say, okay, this is where I can hang my hat. This is where I can talk about it because I'm an expert and I want people to know me for this thing. Perfect example of that. And I was talking talking about this very idea on a prolific cafe call that we have every week where I was saying that I enjoy having coffee chats with people where we jump on a Zoom call and I help answer questions for those people that are serious about moving their business forward. And I was on a call w- like with a woman and She was so lovely. She was telling me about the challenges she had had in the online marketing space. Not surprising. There's so much noise out there, right? And so just going through this thing and I said, well, what was it about what you saw that helped you to to determine that I was somebody you wanted to talk to? And she said, it's because I read your emails. I saw your workshop. I see your book and you talk about positioning so clearly that it's not something that I had heard about before in the way that you say it. Now, in that moment, what it does for me is it's a confirmation that my message is clear. And so one of the things that I talk about quite consistently is the importance of having clarity in your message, clarity with your market, and clarity with the offers. So let's kind of zoom out in clarity. And I don't care what it is that you're doing, I promise you that there's going to be opportunities that pop up that will deter you because it's so fun to be presented with different opportunities. I've had opportunities where people have asked me to, can you help me with my funnel? Uh, I actually shut down a, a portion of my business last year. We were doing kind of a a model where people would pay a subscription and we'd help them with their funnels and such. And it's not something I promote. In fact, we don't do it at all. We do it for a couple of people just because they're dear clients and, you know, we really want to help. But this is not an area of my business that I wanted to explore. And so what I did last year, I had a conversation with my um with Christy, my operations manager. And we're just kind of thinking, I'm like, I don't love this. I don't love doing this. You don't love doing this. It's kind of a hassle. It's just not worth the money. So we made a point to shut it down. Now that of course comes with a sense of risk because you're like, wait wait a minute, this was pretty good in terms of a a profit center for us. But the reality is, is I wasn't liking it. It didn't make me happy. So when you really take the risk, and I will say risk, it's a perceived risk in shutting down a part of your business and shutting down stuff that doesn't work and doing that in the name of gaining better clarity. I promise you, this is only going to help you. And the benefit of doing that is just being crystal clear. I used an example on the group call that we had that I heard that one of the things that Richard Branson does in uh, in a book that he wrote called The Virgin Way, is you talked about how there's three priorities he has in any given year. And if it doesn't meet one of those three priorities, he says it's a hell no. It's either a hell yes or a hell no. So when you think about things that way, being an entrepreneur, and if you're listening to me, you're probably confronted or presented with lots of different opportunities. And I will caution you to really consider that if it's deterring you from that clear message, remember, message, market, offers, right? Those are the three pillars of what are the things that you should be thinking about to make sure, because what you don't want to do is have a 
confused message or people not knowing what it is that you stand for or it being overcomplicated. So there's a level of discipline and creativity that you're going to require to maintain that clarity in your business, in your positioning communications. Okay, because let me just say, it is super easy to be confusing in what you're doing. It's so easy to not stand out. It's so easy to be a commoditized coach, but it's expensive to be a commoditized coach because if you are not capturing that specific mindshare and guarding it very carefully, you will become a confusion in the marketplace, like, or people will just gloss over you. They're not going to know you for what it is. And just so let me anchor back to that example of that conversation that I had with with uh, the woman that I was speaking to about coaching. She said to me, you stood out because you talked about positioning consistently and it was easy for me to understand. There it is. I don't need to be the smartest person in the room. I don't need to over intellectualize. I don't need to confuse anything. What I need is to say the message over and over again so that it's clear in my prospects that as to why it is that they need me. Because if I'm trying to be that smartest person or just I'm doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that, it just becomes this big ball of confusion. So a lot of your message could potentially be getting lost because you're finding different ways to say the same thing. And so you're sacrificing clarity. See, here's the deal. The fact of the matter is, is that you're going to be saying your message over and over again to the point that perhaps it's even going to bore you. So one of the things to do a pulse check on is, am I passionate about what I'm doing? Me, Patty Dominguez, I'm super passionate about what I'm doing. And so I can talk about it all day long. In fact, I dream about it sometimes. I know that sounds completely bananas, but I do because I have that total congruence. The alignment is there for me. Okay, so check the box. If you're aligned with that purpose, the higher calling of what it is that you're doing, the deeper purpose, check the box because that's exactly what you need to do. Now, the secondary part of it is to make sure that you recognize that your message has to matter and you have to convey it in a way that is consistent, clear, and that it prompts somebody to say, tell me more about that. You've heard me say that before, okay? Because what you don't want to do is confuse anybody or for them to say, oh, that sounds the same, right? Sounds the same as everybody else. I mean, imagine what happens. You become a commoditized coach, like I mentioned. So, I really want you to avoid that and just be clear with people. You're going to get bored of saying your message before people get bored of hearing it, right? So when this lack of clarity comes up, when you are saying a different thing, when you are putting out a message that is not congruent with your overall direction, stop yourself in that moment and say, hey, is this feeding in to what I want my premium prospect to know? right? Is she or he going to know more about what it is that I do? Like when I put this out there, or is it going to confuse them? Or are they going to gloss over me saying, okay, yeah, whatever. No, you don't want to do that. So instead you want to be prolific in your message. You want to be consistent. You want to make sure that you're saying things so that there's clarity. So there's a form of clarity in your message. There's other ways to be clear in terms of like, Uh, just opportunities that come up to us or that we're presented with, I should say, where I have corporate engagement opportunities that most recently I've said no to because, I don't know, I feel like it's sacrificing the clarity that I want to work with women entrepreneurs, right? If I'm talking about positioning for women entrepreneurs and if I'm taking a corporate job or whatever, and I don't mean a J-O-B like a a 40-hour-a-week thing, What I mean is like a consulting gig is going to be sacrificing that clarity in my mind. So I've said no lately. And so these are the things that you really have to think about is having a direct line of sight, saying no more often, saying no strategically, saying no when you know it's the right thing to do because it could potentially deter you off track. And when you have that supreme clarity of where it is that you want to go, magic starts to happen. I mean, so much so that as a matter of fact, I was talking about it to my group, that the whole conversation came up of two men uh, contacting me and saying, hey, do you do coaching for men as well? Or the or is Prolific Cafe for women only? And to be honest with you, 
right now in Prolific Cafe, it's all women. It just so happened to be that way. And the irony here is that I had never worked with only females before. Certainly in my corporate job, it was mostly men. So now in my entrepreneurial career, I was like, I really enjoy working with women. I see so much bro marketing or chooch marketing, whatever you want to call it, where there's a lot of men kind of uh, uh, captaining the ship, like being at the helm, not enough women in my opinion. So it was such a great moment for me to hear that question on more than one occasion come through this week, so much so that I said, no, I only work with female entrepreneurs. So I kind of claim my stake there, right? I've put... I've laid it out so that it's even more clear and I'll, I'll even be more clear what I'm talking about. So positioning marketing for women entrepreneurs. And, and so my point in saying that as an example is that this whole process is so dynamic. Don't be hard on yourself if you don't have that supreme clarity out of the gate. I mean, it's an iterative process and just be kind to yourself, but just make sure that you're kind of chipping away at the path being guided by the one underlying direction of where you want to go and not compromising it, right? In spite of the opportunities that may come up that may be very alluring or very interesting or thinking, well, that's easy money. Let me do that. Uh, I just so happen to think when you do that, it takes you away from your focus and you're kind of picking up these little opportunities, but potentially sabotaging the overall direction of where you really should be going or could be going, I should say. So anyway, that's my rant for today. I wanted to help you and really, if anything, uh, have that be a call to action, something for you to consider. Are you supremely clear on your message, on your market, on your offers? Because if you're not, I can definitely help you with that. So head on over to prolificcafe.com. You can also check out my website at pattydominguez.com for more options on how we can work together. It would be an honor and a privilege to support you. So with that, uh, I love the feedback. Please let me know what you thought about this episode, how I can support you. And you can tag me on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, I'm on all the socials, as I mentioned in my outro. And again, uh, check out thecafecall.com if you have a pressing issue, a pesky random act of marketing that's keeping you stuck, a challenge, et cetera. So that again is coming up on March 24th. would love to host you again. Head on over to thecafecall.com for that one. And I will see you on the next episode. All right, thanks. Thank you so much for checking out the Positioning to Profit podcast. If you haven't already done so, please make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new episodes. And also, it would mean the world to me if you would take a quick moment to leave a rating and review on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or your favorite podcast player. It really helps to get the word out about the podcast and of course, the featured guests. And lastly, please make sure to connect with me on social media. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, I'm on all of them and use hashtag positioning to profit so that I can (laughs) search you out and connect that way too. All right. Thanks so much. See you next time.